Hi there, I'm Miles Hischer from Highview Solutions, a Google Cloud Premier Partner. I'm joined here today by Nick Allen, our subject matter expert for Recapture Enterprise. So just to start off, um, any business that has a present online can be a victim of online fraud and Recapture Enterprise is a great set of tools to help combat online fraud. To start with a basic definition, online fraud is a malicious actor using the internet or software to provide incorrect information or to hide information in the hopes of tricking the recipient out of money or resources. A classic example of this would be a denial of inventory attack. So let's say there's a company launching a new shoe. It's in very high demand. A malicious actor might use automated bots or service accounts to place that shoe in a shopping cart via the e-commerce site so the item appears out of stock on that uh, e-commerce site. This drives people to the secondary market um, to, and then that malicious actor can then make a markup on those, those shoes. Um, we're gonna talk about some of the ways that Recapture Enterprise helps prevent this type of online fraud along with others. For the talk today, we are focusing this talk for, to web developers and leadership at companies with fairly large monthly website visitors, at least 750,000 or above. If you are a smaller organization and, and interested in recaptcha, it's free to implement. You could go ahead and, and do that on your own. There's lots of good materials out there. This talk today is specifically about the recaptcha enterprise features available in the paid, paid editions. Nick, I'm going to have you talk through some of the top online um, fraud attacks uh, in addition to the denial of inventory example I gave earlier. Yeah, absolutely. So um, this is from uh, OWASP, which is the Open Web Application Security Project. Um, it's a nonprofit uh, online community that uh, produces available articles, methodologies, documentation, and tools to assist in uh, preventing uh, fraud and promoting, uh, promoting online security. Um, so on that note, we're just going to talk about, you know, briefly the kind of the top five um, online fraud attacks that uh, that OWASP has identified. Um, and I'm just going to briefly just walk through them. You know, number one is account creation, uh, you know, a fraudulent uh, fraudulent user creating multiple accounts for subsequently misusing them. Um, credential stuffing, which is where they're going to create mass login attempts to uh, to attempt to take over or to attempt to utilize um, leaked web credentials. Um, skewing, you know, repeated streams or clicks or page requests to skew the results. Uh, this could also come into play uh, for online voting for things like reality show competitions. Um, carding, much like credential stuffing, instead of uh, stuffing, uh, you know, login credentials, they're actually putting in, um, uh, you know, payment authorization attempts with leaked credit card information. And then, as Miles mentioned earlier, uh, uh, was the denial of inventory attack, depleting a stock, depleting the stock of an item without actually ever uh, purchasing anything. Great. Thanks, Nick. Okay, so I want to give a quick overview on the evolution of reCAPTCHA before we talk about the enterprise features. So reCAPTCHA is a capture system that allows web hosts to distinguish between humans and automated access or automated bots. Um, it's been in use by over 4 million plus websites today and has defended millions of websites for over a decade now. Version 2 that you see here is what most of us are, are familiar with. It has this common widget asking you to select all the crosswalks or select all the palm trees. Sometimes it has a checkbox asking you con to confirm that you are not a robot. And this is what most of us know today. Version 3, which was released in 2018, is where things get interesting. The version 3 actually removed this widget altogether and doesn't have any user interaction. Version 3 instead uses a adaptive risk analysis, which means it basically compares all manners of behavior on your website. Um, this creates a frictionless user experience, um, which, is, which is great for, for users. Version 3 also offers actions. So actions allow a developer to specify a name in every place where reCAPTCHA is executed. This allows you to do two things. One, you get a detailed breakdown of data for top 10 actions via the reCAPTCHA admin console. And it will also show you an adaptive risk analysis based on the context of that particular action. This makes it clear what's exactly happened and what you need to do next. 
So in summary, version three is frictionless for users, relies on adaptive risk analysis, and offers actions. Some of the additional features we'll go through today are specific to uh, reCAPTCHA Enterprise. So um, there's three topics that Nick's going to go to in, in more detail, enhanced risk scoring, risk tuning, also called the annotation API, and integrated two-factor authentication. And we'll also touch on some more advanced features. I do wanna call out as we get started walking through each of these, you cannot um, self-service and sign up for these. You actually do need to move to a reCAPTCHA Enterprise paid plan, go through a security review with the, um, the Google team at, at reCAPTCHA in order to unlock the features that we're going to be talking about today. I have a slide at the end of this deck here um, talking about paid plans in more detail. So with that, Nick, I'm gonna have you walk through each of these main features, starting with enhanced risk scoring. Absolutely, thank you, Miles. So, um, you know, as Miles noted, um, you know, this this main one is enhanced risk scoring. So that re recapture version three um, in the the free or the consumer plan, um, basically you get scores back of a point one, a point three, a point seven, and a point nine. Well, that's great. It it, it does help you, you know, identify fraud. Um, however, Recapture Enterprise is going to give you everything from a zero to a one and every single decimal score in between or decimal point in between. Where that really comes in handy is that gap between 0.3 and 0.7. That's where, you know, Recapture Enterprise is reasonable. It, it isn't entirely certain whether or not it's a, you know, it's a legitimate user session or if it's a potential fraudulent uh, session. Um, so to kind of dive into a little bit of that scoring, um, when you have, when Recapture Enterprise, uh, you know, goes with a 0.3, all right, it comes back with a score of a 0.3 for a user session. What that generally means is that Recapture Enterprise is basically saying that there is only about a 30% chance that that user session is legitimate and not a potential bot or fraudulent account. Conversely, when it comes back with a 0.7, that's basically saying the recapture is about 70% uh, confident that that is an actual legitimate user session. Um, where this comes into play will actually, uh, you know, will will it allows you to use some of the additional recapture enterprise features that we'll talk about a little bit later. But effectively, it's just, you know, recapture enterprise is gonna give you far more granularity in seeing exactly what kind of scores your, your user sessions are getting. Great. And, and let's say, Nick, I'm, I'm a user and I've visited a few different e-commerce sites that have reCAPTCHA Enterprise implemented. Would it always return the same score uh, to me for each of those sites? So that's a great question. And the answer is no. Um, and the reason for that is that reCAPTCHA Enterprise bases its score on a couple of different factors. One of them, and one of the largest ones, is the, the base Google reCAPTCHA, uh, Google reCAPTCHA Energy Engine. Um, and, you know, that's going to be, you know, based on, you know, traffic that Google, that reCAPTCHA sees all across the internet um, and, uh, you know, anonymized data all across the internet. The interesting thing with reCAPTCHA Enterprise and actually with all reCAPTCHA versions is that every single implementation of reCAPTCHA is different. Each individual reCAPTCHA key has its own, basically has its own portion of uh, the scoring model that is uh, you know, specific to that website. So as an example, um, let's say that, uh, you know, 90, 95% of your uh, user traffic comes through on the web. And, you know, then all of a sudden, half of the user traffic starts coming through on, uh, you know, from, uh, from mobile account or from uh, mobile devices. The Capture Engine isn't necessarily going to flag all of those sessions as fraudulent, but it is going to take that into account when providing a score. Um, so, it, it, you know, in essence, so yes, the you know the larger portions of the score is going to be similar from you know website to website, but every single website is different, and because of that, it takes that into account for every score that it gives. Great. Thanks, Nick. Uh, yeah, tell us about the risk tuning and annotation API. Yeah, so basically, what this allows you to do is, uh, let's say that you had a uh, you had a user that tried to log in, and they had you know they for whatever reason, recaptcha gave them you know a score of a of a point four, 
and it was um, you know your policy to block everything with a 0.4 and below and to not allow them to log in. That user called up your customer support and said, hey, how come I can't log in? What's going on here? Your customer support takes a look at it, finds that user account session, um, and shows, oh yeah, well, this is actually a legitimate user. What the annotation API will allow you to do then is to send that information back to Google and to say, hey, this user got a 0.4, but we know that this is an actual legitimate user account. And that needs to be taken into account the next time that this user or a user with similar characteristics tries to log in. Conversely, what it also allows you to do is let's say that your anti-fraud department identified a user session that committed fraud. You looked at the recaptcha, the, you looked at the recaptcha enterprise logs and you found that that user got a, that, that session got a 0.7 score. What you can do then is to send, again, send that information back to Google through the recaptcha enterprise uh, annotation API and say, hey, you guys gave this a 0.7 score, but we know that this was an actual fraudulent, uh, this was a fraudulent session. Please take this into account the next time that, you know, that a, a, that a session matching these types of characteristics, because again, recaptcha doesn't pay, take any personally identifying information or anything else, but matches these types of characteristics uh, you know, take that into account the next time you see something like this and please score that a little bit lower. Great. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about the, the MFA feature. Yeah. So multi-factor authentication, um, is a, is a great feature and where it can really come into, come into play and help out your users is, you know, when they fall into that, you know, that example that I gave of that 0.4 to 0.6 range where it's recaptcha isn't quite sure. Is this a, is this a fraudulent account, a bot? Is this a legitimate user session? What you could do is you could say, Hey, everything that gets between or that gets below a 0.5, I want to. I want to tr- that gets or between that gets a 0.4 or a 0.5. I want to trigger an MFA, um, and I want them to. I you know I want it to be them have to pr- to prove that they st- that they have the account information you know either through email or SMS that we have on on record with them. I want them to be able to prove that uh, and use this you know a- additional form of authentication to prove that they are who they said they are. Um, a- again instead of just blocking those sessions and then you know potentially having a user call up and say hey how come i can't get access to my account this allows you to have an additional form of friction without actually completely blocking that user from using your service great um, and then some of the additional features that you know you can access and how or that you can use uh, through uh, Recaptcha Enterprise um, Account Defender, which is again you know helping to prevent things like uh, credential stuffing and uh, fake account creation. Um, Payment Defender is uh, helping to helping your uh, your anti fraud department by uh, preventing you know carding and chargebacks. Um, and then password leak detection is you know providing again that that protection uh, for your business. From preventing, you know, uh, preventing people from utilizing uh, utilizing people who are uh, credentials that were part of data leaks, but also providing an additional value add to your customers by letting them know, hey, you, this these credentials were are, are part of a known uh, cred- you know, a part of a known data leak. You should probably change this now. And then you can, you know, for, you can if they, you know, have those credentials used at other places on the internet, they know that they can change them th- elsewhere. But you can prevent them from logging in, uh, logging into your website at all using those fake credentials or using those uh, fraudulent credentials or leaked credentials. Great. Thanks, Nick. So, how does Recaptcha Enterprise pricing work? Any organization can use Recaptcha Enter- Enterprise and self-service up to one million assessments per month. An assessment is think of it as an API call to the Recaptcha engine. Uh, beyond that, pricing is one dollar per one thousand API calls. Discount plans for larger customers are available if you are interested in a Google Cloud uh, commitment plan. And we do have a business analyst team at Highview Solutions that can help you with budgeting or creating a business case if you are interested in exploring reCAPTCHA for your organization. Um, ha- happy to assist with that as a Google partner. Um, I also want to highlight some other services we've created uh, for reCAPTCHA enterprise customers. Our customer success methodology has three components, support account management and professional services. Under support, so if your organization purchases reCAPTCHA enterprise 
through Highview Solutions, we are a Google Cloud Platform reseller. We do maintain a help desk team uh, that has customer engineers that are subject matter experts in the reCAPTCHA enterprise product. Um, these plans are complementary uh, for um, and great for customers that do not have an overarching Google Cloud Platform enterprise support agreement in place with Google. Uh, there is an SLA that we maintain around this, so it allows you to get some support for RCE without having to make the large investment of an enterprise support plan around Google Cloud Platform. On the account management side, our account management team will schedule regular business reviews, review your spend uh, of recapture enterprise assessments, plan for upcoming renewals, also help with ongoing uh, health checkups. So if you are implementing reCAPTCHA at additional places on your online uh, website, for instance, we can ensure that those are configured correctly, as well as reviewing new features with your team. On the professional services side, we help with net new rollouts of reCAPTCHA Enterprise for the first time. We also help organizations upgrade. Maybe they've used reCAPTCHA version two for years and are interested in moving to reCAPTCHA Enterprise. And then third, we also help with expanded use of reCAPTCHA Enterprise. So maybe you're interested in some of those advanced features like account and payment defender or password leak protection. We could help with those as well. We also offer in-depth site security reviews. In addition, we offer a reCAPTCHA Enterprise war room to support a large event. So going back to the example we started with, uh, a brand dropping a shoe, they might expect an extremely large influx in web traffic. We could assemble a team to be available in real time to help triage that traffic with Recapture Enterprise. We also run half day workshops. This is a combination of HiveU, a Google customer engineer uh, for some portion of that time, as well as your team to help explore different use cases and business cases for how um, Recapture Enterprise could be valuable to your organization. Uh, so that's it. For our, Nick and I at Highview Solutions, if you're interested, please contact us, rce at highviewsolutions.com. Thank you so much for watching.